What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, I'm going to show you how you can easily host your own large language models at home on your local machine, things like Llama, things like Mistral, instead of always having to rely on third parties to provide you with an LLM interface. So let us get right into it. All right, so this is going to be quite straightforward. We're going to use a tool called Olama, which allows us to install and use multiple different large language models locally on our machine without relying on an internet connection, without relying on a third party to provide us with access to an LLM. We can run everything locally on our own hardware if this hardware is capable enough of running the respective model. So you need to have enough RAM, you need to have a decent GPU, CPU, and so on. But if your hardware is sufficient, you can run LLMs very easily locally on your machine. And the tool, as I mentioned, that we're going to use for that is called Olama. You will find a link in the description down below. This is the website. It's currently available natively for Linux and Mac, not yet for Windows. However, on Windows, uh, you will be able to use it through the Windows subsystem for Linux. So the WSL, you just go in there and you use the Linux uh, command to install it. And then you have it running in Linux inside of Windows but it also says here that it's going to come with a native version soon. So maybe when you're watching this in a couple of weeks or months, maybe a Windows version is already available. So this is the only command that you need to run on Linux. On Mac, I think you need to download something, but I'm sure you're going to figure it out. And on Linux, this is the command that you have to run with the necessary privileges, and then you have Olama running on your system. And when you go to the GitHub repository, you will see that there's a list of models that we can use here. And on the website, when you go here to Olama AI slash library, you can even see more models. And depending on the model that you choose, you're going to need a different amount of RAM and a different amount of space in general. You can see here the 70 billion parameter model from uh, for Llama 2 is uh, almost 40 gigabytes. So this is not going to be um, possible for most people. So on my system here, I can show you that when I go into BTOP, uh, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM available. So I'm not going to be able to run this model. Um, but if you have maybe 64 gigabytes of RAM, this is definitely something that you can do. So in general, when you have Olama installed using the command, you can open up your terminal. In the case Olama is not running, you can run Olama surf but usually it's already running. So you can just say Olama run and then the model that you want to use, for example, Llama 2. Now, if you're running this for the first time, it's going to download the model. So you're going to see a progress bar downloading it from the internet. In my case, it just loads it because I already have it on my system. And then I can say some stuff like uh, what is YouTube, for example, and I will get a response here from Llama 2. Um, and then I can ask further stuff. And I can also get out of this. Um, of this chat by just using control D or by typing slash by I'm going to use control D now. And now I'm exiting here. And I can also do that with the different model types, I can say Olama run Mistral. And um, then it's going to run Mistral here, hopefully, which is going to be a little bit slower. I think the model is more complicated. And I can ask something like what is YouTube? Explain in one brief sentence, then hopefully it's going to give me an explanation. And then I can ask a follow up question to show you that this actually understands the concept uh, context. So who owns it? Then hopefully it's going to tell me that it's owned by Google. There you go. So you can see it understands the context I can terminate here, I can uh, get out of here. And yeah, that is basically how you do that. And you have this is the interesting part, you have different parameter sizes. Uh, or parameter amounts, you have different models in general, you can also look at the more detailed descriptions here. But the interesting ones are definitely for some people the uncensored models, we all know that ChatGPT and the default llama versions and so on are censored, they have some guidelines that they follow some ethical uh, things, which is usually good if you have this on a public, you know, interface, but if you want to use it for your own purposes at home, you want it to be uncensored, it should do exactly what you want. Now that doesn't mean that you want to do something unethical with it, but you want to do something with it that's maybe more difficult if it's censored, for whatever reason you want to use this for. So you can basically just run an uncensored instance, you can say O llama run llama to dash uncensored. And I'm not going to show you now what you can do with that, because probably that's against the guidelines here. So I'm just going to mention that this is uh, yeah, an uncensored model and whatever the default llama model is not going to allow you 
uh, to get a response for, you're going to be able to get a response from Llama 2 Uncensored. Now, I'm not sure maybe if I ask for medical advice, this is something uncontroversial. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to do this here in the video. You can check this out for yourself. But that's interesting. And then we also have this Dolphin Mixtrol, which is kind of interesting. I think this one has uh, 40 gigabytes of space or it needs 40 gigabytes of space. But this is uh, an interesting one because it is uncensored, fine-tuned and specific, um, specifically fine-tuned for coding tasks. So whenever you want to code, whenever you want to set up your own model locally that is used for coding and you want an uncensored model, that is maybe something that you want to be looking into. So yeah, that's basically it. This is the tool that you need uh, or that you can use to install large language models locally in a very simple way with just one command for the installation and one command for downloading, installing and running the model. And the only thing that you need to keep in mind is how much RAM this takes up. So we can look at that. Olama run Mistral, for example, and you can see now that my RAM is going, my RAM usage is going to increase. As you can see, 12 gigabytes now. Yeah, seems like five, seven, eight gigabytes here uh, being used. Yeah, if you don't have enough RAM, you can upgrade or you can just use a smaller model. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.